I'm going to solve a six by six Ken Ken medium difficulty level. Excuse the ads. There's not much I can do about them as this is free. So ad sponsored. And uh, I'm not going to totally explain Ken Ken, but like Sudoku, uh, each row in each column has to have unique digits in each box, in this case, one through six. And then inside of these cages, they call them, uh, the arithmetic operator tells you that, like for 8x, these numbers need to multiply together to byte be 8. So we could start with the obvious, which is 1. And then we can look at, uh, yeah, yeah, let's look 20 and uh, 20x has to be 5 and a 4. It's the only option. So for 54, how do we factor 54? I believe, yeah, that's 6 times 9. Now, a 9 is not okay. I can't use a 9. But I can break that into 6 times 3 times 3. And is there any other way to factor that? Uh, I can't divide by 4. Um, I think there's only one way to make a 54. And because it's 6, 3, and 3, the 3s have to go in the corner here because I can't have duplicates. So then there's a 6 here. So 6 times 9 is 54. Now that limits what can be in this box and these two boxes. It can't be a 6 and a 3. If it was a 5 and a 4, a 5 and a, sorry. If it was a 5 and a 2, then there'd be a 1, 4 down in the 7, and you can't have that. That doesn't work. So then this has to be a 4 and a 1 in some order. There's just no other option. And because of that 1, that makes that a 4. So this is a 2, 5 in some order. Now, an 8 can only be factored one way in the Ken Ken world here. Uh, 8 by 8, uh, 8 factors in a uh, 2 by 2 by 2, excuse me, I'm tired, 2 by 2 by 2, which you can't have. You can't have three twos there, that'd be a dupe. So then you need a 4, a 2, and a 1. So I'll just write those down in the note field. OK, so that's all handled. Uh, this has to be a 5 because of the 4. Now, while I'm up here, that limits what can be in the two box. Because it can't be a one and a two, and it can't be a two and a four. That means it's a three and a six. It's the only option up here. So then that leaves a two and a five for 13. And that would be seven. So I need a six here. 6 plus 7 is 13. So I'm just going to fill in the fact that the only options here are 2 and a 3. Which means there's got to be a 5 in one of these two boxes. And then a 2 or a 3 in the other box. So there's already a three here. I didn't notice that. So then that means this has to be a two. That has to be a three. That has to be a six. That has to be a five. That has to be a two. If 
But then I have a mistake here. I'm trying to think where I went wrong there. Just using this undo option. I don't know what I did wrong there. It looks looks viable now anyway. It's like I backed out whatever stupid error I made. I'm leaving the 72 for last. <laughs> so the four has to go here. And if this is a one, two, and this is a one, two, this could only be a six. It probably means there's a six here for the 72. I'm confident the 72 requires at least one six. That's a one or four. Yeah, I'll look at the 72 next. I guess I'm out of other things to look at. So 72 divided by six is 12. I have three boxes to work with. So clearly I need a six. So it's either two sixes, which is impossible, or a six, a three, and a four. So the four is down here. So the four for the 72 needs to go up here. And then the remaining two are, should be a six and a three. Well, that's gotta be the three. That's gotta be the six then, because that six would conflict. So then this is a one or two or a five. And according to this, this is now a one. And if this is a two or five, this is now a four. So this has to be a five because the three's already taken, which means this is a one, which means this is a three. And that's a five, which means this is a one, two, has to be. And that then is a four. And unless I screwed up, that's a six. With Priceline, bundling our lowest prices on flights, hotels.